everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sitting down and answering all of your questions. It's also a great way for us to connect and get to know each other better. So let's straight jump in into my first ever Q&A. Okay, so the first question that I'm going to be taking is how does it feel to have organically hit the thousand plus mark on YouTube by not giving up and having tried your best each time to make a better video all on your own? So firstly, Thank you so much for you guys for your support and continuously watching my videos and staying in touch with me. It means a lot to me that I finally hit the thousand subscriber mark. It took me a long time to do it and it feels great to see that the Sugar Spice Nice family is growing and you guys are actually enjoying my content. A lot of you have asked me question about filming. So what equipment do I use? How do I edit? Where do I get the music from? All of that. So firstly, I mostly use my phone to film my videos. I have an iPhone 6s and that is something that I've been using since the beginning to film my video. I usually try and film my videos in daylight and I don't use flash while filming. I think flash just makes the videos look really pathetic and really like a pain to watch. I'll use like a spotlight which I usually carry and it's really tiny and compact and this is what it looks like. In some of my videos, I also use my DSLR to film which is what I'm filming on right now and this is the Canon 700D. I mostly use this DSLR for filming like the bigger time lapses and stuff when I'm doing because I can just set it up on a tripod and leave it in a corner and it keeps on filming and I don't use this very very often. I in fact like filming with my phone. It's a lot more handy. Whenever I'm filming a chatty video, I do use an external mic because the sound quality with the ambient noise isn't the best. So a little mic kind of helps bring out your voice a little better and if I'm using a big camera for filming then I have a bullet mic which is the Tackstar shotgun mic. I'll leave details and links to this whole equipment setup that I have going on in the description box so make sure you check that. I do use another device which is this. This is the DJI gimbal. It stabilizes any video that has a lot of motion in it. So I just need to put my phone here and start filming. If there are shots where there's a lot of movement like if I'm walking around I'm doing too much hand movement there's obviously gonna be like natural jerks and stuff in the camera. So this gimbal helps me kind of stabilize that. I've been using this gimbal for at least six to eight months now and I'm super super happy with it like this is the best investment I could make in my whole vlogging setup. For editing I've been using iMovie. I mostly sit down and edit the longer videos on my Mac and the shorter videos I managed to edit them on my phone so that's how I do that and in terms of background music and stuff I spend a lot of time searching and really fitting in the right kind of background music for my videos. I feel music makes a lot of difference and I try and get the best that I can keeping in mind the theme of the video or the restaurant or the subject of which I'm filming and I usually look for non-copyrighted music or copyright free music which is okay to kind of be used in videos and YouTube has its own library of such music and some of the tracks are really really good and I've used a lot of them in my videos already but I also look for independent artists who are okay to let YouTubers use the music in exchange for credit. Okay, the next question is asked by Ruthwik Thakkar and he asked me what's my most favorite food and from where. So my most favorite food would be pav bhaji that my mom makes. I love it. I can eat lots and lots and lots of it. That is ghar ka khana. And in terms of eating outside, I think I eat out way too much and I like way too many places. So picking just one. It's difficult, it's so difficult. Like I love the thali from Sri Thakur. Then I love the Chinese food from China Garden. I love dosa, like street food proper dosa at Narayan Dosa. <sighs> Maybe I should make a video about all of my most favorite food, right? Next question is, what's my go-to flavor topping between Oreo and Kit Kat? I think it would have to be Oreo. Like in shakes, I love a good Oreo shake. And while I love Kit Kat as chocolate, I think for topping it would have to be Oreo. A lot of you ask me why did I name my channel, blog and social media with Sugar Spice Nice. So when I was thinking for a name for starting my food journey, I kind of thought of the two elements that really really make food 
worthwhile for me. I don't know, somehow the words sugar and spice just kind of fit into everything. A lot of you also asked me why and how did I start creating food content or how did I start food blogging. So my journey with food blogging started with wanting to share what I was eating. I just thought that there's a lot of visually interesting element to food and it's fun for people to watch it because I personally also enjoyed watching it. So it's more of a place where I share what I eat. I don't think I'm the right person to critically evaluate food but I do enjoy sharing it with you via visual mediums and video happens to be one medium. I also share food pictures on my Instagram where you can see what I eat on almost like a daily basis so make sure you're following me there too. Nikhil Ayer asked me a brief background about me and my typical day. Actually a lot more people have asked what I do or what I did in the past and all of that. So I used to be a mobile marketing um, professional and I worked for about 8 years in that space and then I wanted to do something on my own. So I quit my full time job and I'm a full time content creator now. I own and run two full properties one is this which is about food and I do have another channel which is about beauty and lifestyle and I'm going to link that in the description bar down below so make sure you check that out if you're interested so my background is really mass media advertising and mobile as a media property and that's what I did before I was doing this and my typical day so my typical day is pretty haphazard I'm juggling time between both my blogs and I'm also a homemaker in the background so there is that responsibility and actually there's like a lot to it so if you guys would like to see a day in my life kind of video then let me know I'd love to film that for you guys and show you from morning to night what exactly happens in my life a lot of my Instagram family also asked me questions and Nix2468 asked me why don't I show much of street food in my videos so if you see my most viewed video is Raju Chinese which is nothing but street food um, my next most viewed videos are Indo and um, I think Jaipur which are again a lot of street food I personally love street food a lot and I think I'm gonna try and film more street food videos also going forward she also asked me what's my age and educational background I think I already answered that age is for you guys to guess then Shokya Bawarshi asked me when will I open my own restaurant now that is something which I haven't thought of at all and I don't see that on the radar anytime soon so I don't think I'll be opening my restaurant anytime soon Who are my favorite YouTubers? My most favorite YouTuber ever ever will have to be Casey Neistat <laughs> Food blogger The Hungry Mumbai Car Chai or coffee? Chai Hands down chai like I cannot live without chai and chai means adrak wali chai. So I think now I should end this video before it becomes way too long and if you guys have more questions then leave them in the comments below and I'll be replying to them and make sure you subscribe to my channel because that is the one thing which means the most to me and also like and share the videos and that is it from me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!